explain your position sure. on raising the age limit to purchase AR-15 style weapons. So yes, we can raise the age to 21. And as governor, I'll bring Republicans and Democrats around the table to do that. Uh, after all of these mass shootings, this governor has done nothing except make it easier for people who should not have a firearm to carry them publicly. And this is what we get as a result. We need change. So there you have it. Uh, Sherry Jacobus is still with me. Uh, she is the host of Politics with Sherry Jacobus on Patreon. The, the gun issue is a big old deal. It just completely changed this year in Texas. Normally it's a no-brainer. But part of the deal with this debate having no audience was Texas Governor Greg Abbott didn't want an audience. Is it that he didn't want anything uh, Uvalde-like, any parents or supporters to, to be in that audience to sort of upset the apple cart? Yes, I think that's exactly why. In fact, they were all planning on coming. Uh, so this ended up backfiring on him because now everybody in Texas knows this. It's been well reported uh, and, it's, and people are latching on to it as they should. Uh, but yes, it changes the issue. Polls show that uh, Texans, the majority of Texans do want uh, stricter gun laws, uh, gun control laws. And Uvalde changed, uh, you know, did change, I think, that culture. It's kind of hard. You know, people care about crime, especially women. Uh, and it's hard to separate out this, these mass shootings from crime if you also are for, you know, you, you want to be pro-gun, pro-Second Amendment. Well, there's reasonable approaches. And I, I think in this issue, uh, uh, O'Rourke probably did a little bit better in terms of explaining himself. His position uh, on the AR-15s, I guess, was different than it was when he was running for president. I think they thought they had a gotcha moment, but he handled it. He is realistic about what you can do as president versus working with a state legislature in terms of what can and can't be done. It sounds like he would go for half a loaf. So he has a he's pretty good at explaining himself in that regard, whereas Abbott uh, does stumble around a bit when he feels well, kind of caught across hairs. There's a popular, listen, there's a reason that, that Donald Trump, um, you know, had a lot of people in his court wearing red ball caps with the Make America Great Again uh, slogan. And tonight, Governor Abbott said something similar, keep Texas Texan. Did that mean, um, demographically speaking, did it mean um, with regard to gun change? What did he, what do you think that meant? I think he was talking to one demographic. I think he was talking to good old boys in Texas who like their guns and like those red hats. Uh, but uh, Texas is far more diverse than that, obviously. Uh, so he seems to be trying to turn out what he feels is his base, um, you know, his strength. And But that does, does not include everybody. Well, you know, Beto O'Rourke is certainly a lot more centrist, and there are a lot of centrists in this country. There are more centrists in this country and more centrists watching this show right now. Uh, it's a reason for this news network, because we know it. <laughs> we know, um, as Dan yeah. Abrams said, there's a big marginalized uh, majority um, of moderates out there. The, well, and, the vast and, majority and, of Americans that's are... That's not Texas, but they do exist there. But I'm talking racially as well uh, in Texas. Um, and that's where and we saw that in the focus group, some of the people that were really bothered uh, by the stunts uh, that that the governor had pulled uh, about an issue that they consider to be difficult and serious, and they want serious people to be addressing those issues. But in terms of centrists, yes, um, the vast majority of people are slightly right of center or slightly left of center, but it's those on the fringes with the loudest voices and who are extreme and get the attention uh, that that are able to kind of pull everybody to those fringes. Yeah, so a lot of people are talking about, um, you know, Governor Abbott uh, running for the nomination in 2024. But what about um, Beto O'Rourke? If things don't go well for him in the governor's race, uh, is that something that we assume he's going to try as well? He, he did it once before, didn't have so much luck. Um, and uh, he had a, a rough go, uh, you know, for Senate as well against Ted Cruz. What are the thoughts about his future too? Uh, yeah, I have no idea. I mean, I guess that depends on how he does. If he if he wins this this race or even comes very very close, it depends who else is in the field. He's somebody I think that depending who's at, at the top of a ticket in the future would certainly be considered uh, um, as as a you know, vice presidential running mate. Um, but he you know whether or not he has a future, he's 50 years old. That's considered young still in politics and presidential politics. So. Um, I, I, I don't know. If he wants to, he, he can do something. 40. <laughs> he looks 40. Very jealous. He looks 40. <laughs> hey, so do you, Sherry Jacobus. Thanks for being on oh, with thank me tonight. You. And have a great All weekend. Right. We'll see you, you again too. soon.
Um, and also, folks, uh, do not forget, uh, this was just the first of three debates that we're going to be bringing to you, uh, News Nation exclusively bringing you those debates. The Georgia and the Pennsylvania Senate debates are coming up next month. Barn burners. You can also submit your questions right now uh, to be a part of it all. NewsNationNow.com slash debate. Uh, PA or GA, depending on which one you want to submit. Um, your candidates there are on the screen, so uh, make sure you do that. And then also, before we go tonight, uh, next week is a big one for us here on News Nation. The newest member of our team, Mr. Chris Cuomo, is going to return to television on Monday night. It's October 3rd, 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Central. Make sure you catch the premiere of Cuomo. Uh, it's going to be terrific. I'm looking forward to my old colleague uh, joining me here on News Nation. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.